Hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with um, another video for Red Devil Studio. Um, sorry about the delay, guys. Mint has been down all day, um, so I've only start. I'm only just catching up with the latest uh, Manchester United transfer news. So I'm going to be uploading quite a lot of videos in in succession. Um, so bear with me. Um, so um, the latest news actually, um, or it, was, it broke. I think around midday was basically um, we posted a video before about. Um, Linkovic Savic, uh, uh, Lazio midfielder, attacking midfield player, and Manchester United preparing to bid about 72 million or so for him. That's according to Sky Sports Italia. Link will be in the description. Um, basically, as essentially as a Pogba replacement, that's that's United essentially preparing that bid um, in for him. Um, now, I have read um, updates where basically it is still contingent on Paul Pogba leaving the squad. Now, to be honest. Um, I would say um, that we should still bid for him, to be honest, as another option. Because think of it this way. What other options do we have from an attacking midfield point of view outside of Paul Pogba? Just think about that for a second. We don't actually have other options. So we say Pogba, but, but just think, what other attacking midfield options do we have um, outside of Paul Pogba? Not much. So to be honest, um, especially if we're dragging our legs with um, uh, Bruno Fernandes, and I, and I hope we do get that dealt with soon, um, I really, 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 really hope um, that we can get um, Milinkovic uh, a savage through, you know, as, as an add-on, even if Pogba leaves. Um, but it, the impression I, I get is that we are basically waiting. Um, we're waiting to make sales, basically. Um, and we're waiting for someone to bid for Pogba. Um, and we're not going to accept a bid for any less than 120 to 150 million pounds so for, for Paul Pogba. Um, then and only then will we, will we bid for uh, Milinkovic Savage or going for Milinkovic Savage, I, I, I assume, although I think that's wrong. Um, so stay tuned to the news. Um, like I said, it's from Sky Sports Italia. It's semi reliable, so I'd still take this with a pinch of salt. Um, but to be honest, guys. Um, uh, you know, um, I, I, if I'm honest, this is my honest opinion. I don't think that we will um, go for Milinkovic Savage if Pogba is at the club. I think that's the big, that's the big contingency here. Um, even if we prepare a bid, the way that we've been bidding for players um, this season um, is much more of a low bid, and I doubt we'd we would bid really seriously to actually even um, you know consider, um, um, you know. Getting getting Milinkovic Savage through. I mean, I think even um, said Gazzetta della Sports. So that's another Italian magazine. Says you know they'll only move in if Pogba basically departs. You know, I, I do rate Milinkovic Savage. I mean, he, his season at Lazio wasn't great to be honest. Um, and there's no guarantee that he will actually adapt to the Premier League. Um, but he's a, he's he's a, he's is he a Pogba replacement? All in all. The thing I would say is that Pogba on his day is world class and better than Milinkovic Savage without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I don't think anyone can make any arguments. The problem with Pogba is, is inconsistency. Milinkovic Savage, I don't think has the same talent as Paul Pogba, but is a relatively more consistent. That said, he's not Premier League proven. Regardless, we do need to get a a. Um, if Pogba does go, we do need to go for a relation and. As from an attacking midfield point of view, Milinkovic Savic seems to be the, one of the only few viable options that we have. Well, Yuri Tillemans was, but we won't go into that <laughs> as to why. Uh, or, uh, you know, Tottenham's obviously new signing and uh, and so many other options that were there, but United just weren't in for. Um, so, yeah, um, again, um, there's not really much else to say, really, aside from that. In conclusion, we are in for Milinkovic Savage, but it's contingent on um, the Pogba sale. And presumably, obviously, the funds from the Pogba sale um, will go towards purchasing um, Milinkovic Savage. Um, what do you think, guys? This is, this is a very short video. There's not really much else to, to report, to be honest. I mean, this is scant transfer news. Um, I hope that he does come to Manchester United Um even if we do keep Pogba, because I think it's good to have other attacking midfield options. Like, you know, I'll, I'll go in, in a bit of a rant here. 
you know, seriously, what other attacking midfield options do we have? Post in the comments, please, if, if, we, if we have other attacking midfield options than Paul Pogba. Um, because I know people, Pogba says he want to leave, say he should get out of club, etc. But if he goes, it's the same thing with Lukaku. Look, at least with Lukaku, I guess Greenwood could step up. We don't know what's going to happen there. You know, we need other options, we need other good options. And if Pogba goes, and if we don't sign a replacement, or even if um, Pogba stays... Having at least two good uh, players uh, in, in, in a single position is, is, what is, is how your team improves. Um, and even if Pogba stays United, if he gets injured or suspended or whatever, you know, who, who, exa who comes in exactly as a position? Fred, McTominay, Pereira. Um, I don't see those players as, as real going forward attacking midfield players as more of holding or defensive um, to be honest, um, varying between bet between those, we could s we'll see next season. Um, but yeah, um, I'm rambling. I'm rambling here, but basically, um, what I'm essentially trying to say is, United should go for uh, Milinkovic Savage, irrespective of whether Pogba leaves or goes. But the reality is that we're probably only going to bid for him um, if we get a bid from Pogba, and we're starting to lose. Well. The big thing, as I've said, increasingly, um, um, that we have, or well, the issue with the English Premier League is that the English Premier League transfer window closes before everyone else in Europe. And so we really don't want to be in a situation where Real Madrid decide, yep, we'll bid 160 million for, or 120 million for Paul Pogba as soon as our transfer window closes. United will accept it, but we won't be able to sign anyone else. And that is a situation that we cannot afford to be in. Okay, thanks for listening, guys. More videos coming up just to, just to catch up. Please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter at WeAreUnitedX. Have a nice evening and cheers.